you are now watching Juan Gotti Talking Sports. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We enter the Washington football team video. And in today's video, we have some news on Brandon Sheriff. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL, in this case, our Washington football team. Let's get straight into today's video. So it came out by John Kime on his podcast that the Washington football team has offered um, Brandon Sheriff a bunch of contracts and he has turned down them all. And honestly, man, this is really, you know, unexpected. And this is the last person I thought that would do something like this. I mean, and obviously I know Brandon Sheriff wants to get paid, but he's also the same guy that said he wants to be here for the rest of his career. So like I said, it's John Kime. He's a Washington football team insider. I'm pretty sure this is accurate. But I want to tell you guys, as I would tell everyone else, take it with a grain of salt. Like I said, this very well could be true. But at the same time, like I said, nothing is set in stone. You didn't hear Ron Rivera come out and said it. In fact, you heard Ron Rivera come out and say, yes, we haven't um, had the long-term contract talk as of yet. But we will be interested in signing him long term. So it's obviously from Washington's standpoint and obviously if it is true that they offered him multiple contracts. So it's obvious that it's interest there from Washington's side. And Brandon Sheriff, although he said that it's interest from his side that he wants to be here, you never know what truly goes on into a player's mind. And I'm pretty sure Brandon Sheriff, he wants to get paid that $18 million a year salary and Obviously, Washington isn't looking to pay him that long term. Yes, I understand that sounds crazy because that's the franchise tag that he's getting for this one year, $18 million. So it's a lot going on, and I'm hearing trade talks could be happening if, in fact, this is true. And honestly, if we are going to trade Brandon Sheriff, I'm going to be like, okay. But at the same time, as much as I want him here long term, I understand things happen. And honestly, like I said, I love Brandon Sheriff and all. But if he wants 18, 19, 20 million dollars a year of right guard, I, I will have to pass on that, man. Honestly, and I'm going to have to just let him walk and go do his thing wherever else he may desire to play football at. But I just don't want it to be in the nation's capital if he wants it to be that much money and yes brandon sheriff all pro right guard you know what i'm saying probably one of our best if not the best linemen in recent history obviously outside of trent williams so we understand the talent is there it also is knocks to his games as far as his health wise because he hasn't played a full season since entering the nfl so it's obviously um pros and cons to brandon sheriff but like i said if we can't get a long-term deal done as it's seeming if this is true that it's not gonna happen because he turned out multiple deals by us I just would let him go, you know what I'm saying, as far as trading him. Now, I wouldn't cut him, obviously, because you can get some good value out of Brandon Sheriff, and he's under contract for this year. So he's obviously required to play this year. I think this is more so for next year because he's under contract for 2021. So I fully expect him to be here 2021. But I think after that, a trade could possibly happen. Who knows? A trade at the trade deadline could happen. It's just so much going on. I don't know the full answers or have the full details to this whole situation like i said take everything with a grain of salt because nothing is set in stone as of right now you just heard john kine and he's accurate nine times out of ten but you just never know and according to john kine the offers that we've offered brandon sheriff would have made him the highest paid guard in the nfl so i mean obviously he don't want to be here and john kine basically already said that the ship has sailed like i said and i will continue to say this throughout the video Video, take everything with a grain of salt i'm just reporting the information as i get it but i i don't know man it's just crazy to think how a couple months ago brandon sheriff when asked he said that he wants to be here for the rest of his career but then when we offer him long-term contracts if that's true he turns them down so it's just like a, it's a lot going on and if we decide to trade him at least i want a first round pick i would even take multiple but i don't know if a team is willing to give up multiple 
to. But that's his worth. I don't want nothing less than a high first round pick, man. Brandon Sheriff is young, and if he's not gonna be here, man, I need some compensation. First pick, two first round picks, whatever. First and a second. I need something that's gonna be satisfying for us Washington fans. Like I said, it's crazy because Brandon Sheriff is the captain on this team, one of the captains, and he like I keeps reiterating. It's like he said he wants to be here long term, but then does this. So it's like after this year, the franchise tag is up. You might as well just let him walk. Or I, I'm here, like I said, I'm hearing trade talks. But what good is it to trade him unless we're gonna trade him before the start of this season? Because he's only here for one year. So like I said, it's still a lot that's missing about this um, whole situation. I just wanted to get out a quick video to get you guys up to date. According to John Kine, Brandon Sheriff has turned down multiple deals by the Washington Football team like I said take it with a grain of salt however you want to proceed that information in your head are you going to overthink it and think that he not isn't, isn't going to want to be here next year are you going to be neutral are you going to be like me and just let chips fall where they may like I told you as much as I love Brandon Sheriff if we let him go hey man we got to move on and go cheaper and go younger who knows man Sadiq Charles could probably work out and play right guard right West Schweitzer could switch to right guard put um Sadiq Deke Charles at left guard. It's so much that we can do. Like I said, as much as I love Brandon Sheriff, if he's going to cost that much, I'm going to let him walk in. I'm not saying Wes Schweitzer is or could be as good as Brandon Sheriff, but I'm saying he's solid and he's playable and he obviously um, exceeded expectations in my opinion last year. So, if worst case scenario, if we did let go of Brandon Sheriff next year, we can still have um, Wes Schweitzer on the books and we still have Sadiq Charles on the books. So, we, can, we have a lot that we can work around if Brandon Sheriff is not here next year. I know it can probably affect Morgan Moses because they're like best friends but like I said, I'm not going to let this little comment get that deep into things because like I said, we don't know if this is fully true. It's not from Ron Rivera himself as I don't think he would come out and just say that. But like I said, it also should hold some weight because it's coming from John Kime, a well known, notable, and accurate and trustworthy Washington football team insider. So it should have some truth to it but all i want you guys to do is not overthink it and go too deep to it because it's just stage one of this situation if it is true so yeah man like i said it's been boy Juan Gotti. i just want to come on here and talk quickly about this whole situation trust me i don't know everything that's going on about this situation it's news to me like it is news to you guys from me and it's crazy to think what can happen overnight man i'm just now thinking that we're gonna have banner sheriff here for the long term possibly if we could get a long term term deal done but you gotta have thought that this was a possibility of happening since we kept going coming to franchise tag after franchise tag so like i said man i don't know everything yet about this whole situation i'm just bringing up the news as i get it multiple videos will come out on about this situation as it prolongs so as always it's me a boy Juan Gotti. like comment subscribe hello to the washington football team we're almost at 3,000 subscribers please get me there for more washington great content and yeah, man, it's me, your boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell to the Washington football team. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cross me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop, uh, get you drop. Uh, slide.